Hello there, lovely people. Um, this is just my little video uh, that I guess is just finishing off a project I have been making for the last couple uh, weeks and months. Um, it's come to sort of be known as the MVC, the Minimum Viable Camera. It's great fun. It, what it is, uh, I won't beat around the bush much longer, but it is, it is a little pinhole camera, as you can sort of see here. Um, but the trick of it is that it takes standard 35 millimeter film, uh, meaning that if you're a film photographer who likes to bulk roll and I don't know, you, you're interested in doing pinhole photography, um, you can just kind of, I don't know, if you want to have this, I'll have the files somewhere down in the description and you can find some of the laser cutter and print it off and have at. It's, um, it's quite a neat little thing. It's incredibly basic by design. Um, also quite modular, you can see here little witness marks um, of you know, faulty gluing, we'll get to that later on the assembly video. Um, but I, I'm planning to put a tripod on this, I'll um, probably put some photographs up that I've taken of this. Um, yeah, it is actually just a lovely little like, toy camera, but it, it is a camera nonetheless, um, and it, it takes takes photographs. It, it, it's, it's quite a thing. Um, yeah, um, I'll, I'll do a little tear down here because might as well this is only a minute or so long. Um, let's see here, this is all sort of the parts that come apart. Um, trick of it, you have two 35mm canisters that you, I can't remember which is which here, but uh, you have to bulk roll, there we go. You bulk roll on one and you feed that through. This is just dummy film, by the way, obviously. Um, you feed that through and between the two of these, you have two lightproof containers inside of a lightproof box and it takes photographs, which is, as I said, quite cool. I've um, got two little screws here. Okay. Two, uh, not screws, bolts. Um, two bolts here that they, they stick out a little bit and they can be a little bit fiddly. Uh, I think these are 3 16 but they're just whatever I had around the shop. And um, they tighten in. You, you can do this all from the outside too, by the way, and, and keep your light proofing. And that sort of is your, your hinge there. And this one locks your shutter in. Um, so that it, while it's rattling around your bag, it doesn't uh, fall apart and you know, accidentally take a photo of the inside of your bag. Um, we have two baffles here. Um, I put felt on these, but Ultimately, it's not necessary, I found with testing, which does make it simpler. Um, and I rely on the sort of the, uh, the mating of this line here uh, with in here, uh, sort of light proof against it, and then having another uh, foam like baffle, I don't know the right word for these things, I'm actually not a photography person. Um, and then that, this is a little dowel, a little slot stuck in it. You can just use a big pen as well. That works quite nicely, I found. And that sticks in there. And between the foam on the inside and the foam on the outside and the friction fit of this uh, baffle, which is quite good, mind you, um, it all, it's, it's light proof and it takes photos and it's really cool. The focal length is optimized for around somewhere between a 0.2 and a 0.3 which if you're making pinholes by hand, which is I mean, fine to do, that's probably what you'll end up with. Um, it, it's relatively easy to shoot for. And if you make a mistake, it's easy enough just to pull it out and chuck a new one in. Um, other than that, there's really not much more to it. This is a lovely shape in here that captures it. Uh, it's present on the top, as you can see. And yeah, that's it. Um, well, I, ho I hope you enjoyed my little talking about this. Um, I said uh, I'll meet you on the assembly video. Um, cool.